Phillies need Zach Wheeler to be a stopper today. No question about it, Tom. I mean, and he has been absolutely dealing, and they really do need him today. And he has just been absolutely outstanding in this month and at home. I mean, look at the home numbers. He, in his five starts, 2-0 and record with a 2-0-2 ERA, and in the month of May, just absolutely dominant with a 1-8-6 uh, ERA. He has been dealing. They need him to be the ace that he is for the staff tonight. Sandez, one stolen base, leads off first. Swing and a miss, 98 miles an hour. One away in the first strikeout for Wheeler. Hernandez being held on by Hoskins at first. Swing and a miss, 98. Devers is the second strikeout victim. Eduardo, 5 and 2 of 470 ERA. Last couple have been kind of shaky. Yeah, very hittable, really, the last couple out. He's he's due for a bounce back start. He's got to locate a little bit better. His 2 2. Got him. Throw down. That's going to trickle. He's going to hold there at second base. Herrera with the theft on the strikeout. So two gone. Reese Hoskins, the hitter. He's been on base 22 of 24 at home this year, including last night when he hit his 100th career home run. Shoots it the other way. That's going to roll in the right field of base hit. Herrera is around third, heading for home. And Renfro, who's one of the best throwers in the league, couldn't get the ball out of his glove. RBI single. What do you call that, Ruben? A nice piece of hitting? That is <laughs> definitely one of those. Yeah, I was I was wondering if we'd get through the game without saying that, but um, <laughs> that was a nice piece of hitting right there with two strikes, especially. Reach out and poke that two strike, a two two pitch in that big big hole over at second base. Take that with that shift. And, and, and that's a nice job. And really, that's something that the Phillies and you'd like to see just happen across the league. Runners will be off with the count three and two and two outs here in the bottom of the first. Phillies have a run in on the RBI single by Hoskins. Pitches hit high in the air to left field. Way back there, Marlon Franci Cordero going back. It's off the screen. It's a home run. Opposite field home run for Brad Miller. And the Phillies jump out on top for nothing. It hit the screen just to the right of the 329 sign. How about that? 99 home runs now for Brad Miller. He needs one for 100. 2 2 pitch. Swing it. Yes, he struck him out. Third strikeout for Zach Wheeler. 1 2 3 shutdown inning for the Phil's right hander. We're going to the second. 4 0 Phillies. And strikes him out. Although he swung at what would have been ball four. And that's out number two. And he's a, he was a little upset with himself for chasing that too. That ball was way out of the strike zone. Very mellow on the mound. I don't know if there's a big difference. Swing and a miss. Pulled the string there and got him. So a much better inning. He gets him one, two, three in the second. Zach Wheeler back to work here for the third inning. Four nothing Phillies. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Fastball. Wow. Cordero went reaching for it. <laughs> yeah. Not much chance there. The 0 2. Swing. <laughs> Try it again. <laughs> That's a pitcher just saying, you know what? I don't want to just strike you out. I'm going to embarrass you again. And as we go to the fourth inning, Zach Wheeler will face Danny Santana, Rafael Devers, and Christian Vasquez. Swing and a miss at a high heater. He's mowed down six so far. And he just has a dominating fastball right now, and he's just blowing it right past him. Gets the fastball up above the swing plane right here, and Santana's got no chance. Our square, here's the right handers 2 2. Fastball, strike three call. Got him looking. And Wheeler records strikeout number seven. There's another 1 2 3 inning, and after the leadoff hit in the first inning, Wheeler has now retired 12 Red Sox in a row. 2 2 is lined the other way, a base hit for Wheeler. Working the count with a second straight at bat. And that puts runners on first and second with two men down. He sheepishly does the little exclamation point. Can't tell you how important it is for a guy like a, a, a pitcher to be able to make contact and have good at bats. I mean, it turns the lineup over, adds more and more pitches to the pitcher. It's, Gives Andrew McCutcheon now. Cut's got a chance to, to really do some damage with you know, base runners on. I think it's a uh, lost arts. Brings up Marwin Gonzalez. Gonzalez popped out 
His first time up to left. Wheeler rocks into the wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss struck him out. That's strikeout number eight for Wheeler. Two outs, nobody on. Center field, that is well hit. Herrera is going back. The wind is going to bring it back. He makes the catch, and the inning is over. Oh, Mother Nature. Well, in the cause. Seven pitches, 15 in a row. It's still 4 0 Phillies as we go to the bottom of the fifth. Phillies 4, Red Sox nothing. Nobody out, bottom of the fifth inning, and Philly threatening. Sawamora on. 0 oh, 2. Go ahead, disappeared. He struck him out. Nice work there by Sawamora. He inherited two. He gets the next three quickly. Zach Wheeler goes to work here at the top of the sixth inning. Runners lead off first and second. First time today there have been two base runners on for the Red Sox. Swing and a foul tip hung on by Nat 98 miles an hour. He just challenged them with a four seam fastball. And the Red Sox are retired here in the sixth inning. No runs, a hit, two men left, nine strikeouts for Wheeler. Zach Wheeler, he has been outstanding. Nine strikeouts through six innings. One and two. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. There's number 10 on the day for Zach Wheeler. Nasty slider. It's his getting ahead and putting him away with that slider. Swing and a miss. Take a little off. Yeah, he did. A curveball for the 11th strikeout today for Zach Wheeler. He has been absolutely masterful here this afternoon against the Boston Red Sox. Well, Wheeler back out there for the eighth inning. He has allowed two singles and struck out 11. Franchi Cordero. Got will it. swing and hit a high fly ball. That one is going to be jacked way out of here. An absolute shot by Franchi. And that's how you break up a shutout. And he got it all. Yeah, yeah something everybody down, stopped. down in the zone, too. Nobody moved. The whole ballpark didn't just, move. Just watched it. Everybody, everybody out on the field did not move. How about that for your first home run as a member of the Red Sox? Uh, that's an impressive home run. Look at this. That matches his career high in strikeouts. 12 strikeouts for Wheeler. Here comes Joe Girardi. Wheeler's going to get a very nice round of applause for the 15,360 here today. The Phillies needed a lift from their starting pitcher, and they got one way over his head. And now Herrera, who has two hits, he's two for three. Line drive left field. Cordero's not going to get it. It's going to go to the wall. One is in. Joyce will be held at third. RBI double for Odubel Herrera. Six to one. Phillies on top. Ten in a row. And for the Red Sox, they have begun 43 consecutive days in sole possession. That one's going to be knocked over the wall for a home run. Going to the opposite field, Rafael Devers destroys that one. Red Sox have hit a couple of home runs in the last two innings. Number 13 for Raphael. That'll make it six to two. Yeah, that was a laser shot right there. Three two pitch. Ground ball back toward the middle. Segor is there. The second baseman throws over to first in time. And the ball game is over. The Phillies salvage a three-game series. They win it six to two.